video, but this time I am excited because we are going to get into the over a thousand dollar antique unit. There's a lot of boxes in here. I can't wait to uncover more antiques and collectibles. Let's get right into it. So here are all the boxes right here that we have to go through. I feel like I'm gonna get like 10 parts out of this unit. Let's get right into it because I'm gonna be busy for a while. First box we have here says Thanksgiving decoration. So let's see what kind of decorations we got. We have a big stuffed turkey. We have a piece of corn with googly eyes. Uh, this is, I guess, just like a door hanger of some sorts. It looks like they crocheted it and put a magnet and a pen on the back, just like a little homemade thing. Here is more corn decoration. It is salt and pepper hand painted shakers. Probably never used before, but there is one of them. Yes, they look the exact same salt and pepper shakers right there brand new in the box in this next white box we have some little figures all it says is thanksgiving animal set so let's see what kind of animals we have in here so we have a little bear pilgrim i guess <laughs> another one looks like the exact same to me and then there's two more in here it says a set of six but there's only four in here um here is a a mouse or a rabbit with uh some food in his hand and then the last one is, I guess, a skunk with some corn in a basket. Box, I forgot to open this big uh, newspaper thing, but it looks like there was a flower pot and they just put that in there and put like a thing of flowers in it. But realistically, you could take this out and use it for pretty much anything. Nicely painted turkey there. What's in here? So we have some Spanish moss bags, a hot glue gun with some sticks, some stencils here. Uh, we have like a boy and a girl stencil, um, a bear stencil, lighthouse, butterflies and flowers, and then ribbons, lace, and what does that say? Dolls. Here's a couple more stencils. It's like animals. And then these are iron-on transfers. So I guess this is the picture that's an iron-on. And then the rest of this is all acrylic paint. Uh, a lot of you guys said that acrylic paint does go bad because it's, you know, 20 years of drying and freezing and all that kind of stuff. So if there's anything in here that we think that we can salvage, we will. Otherwise, it's mostly trash. So I did open one of these acrylic containers and this is what it looks like on the inside. So yeah, it's pretty dry and uh, run out. I'm going to open one more color just to see. Um, that's pretty much the same. The only one that I open that is not dried out is this Royal Coat uh, glues and seals, cutouts, paper, fabric, and whatnot. This is still liquidy and full, actually. Um, this is Puzzle Coat laminates uh, puzzles. Anything here? Uh, that's not dried out either. So some of these I might uh, keep to put in the yard sale, but the ones that I open up, like I showed you guys, two colors, those that are dried out, they'll go in the trash. This next thing we have right here is Flower Girl from the series entitled the Shirley Temple Family Album Doll Collection, and it's made by the Danbury Mint. So let's take a closer look at her. I don't want to take her like completely out and take the plastic off of her because I want, just in case we sell it like this, or depending on what we do with it, I want her to stay in all her plastic goodness. So. This is her little, I guess, bouquet basket or whatever, but let me show you, try to get you a close up of her as best I can. So here she is. Like I said, I don't see any other accessories, but she is perfectly still good in the plastic. I see no stains whatsoever. Um, so that is awesome. This thing right here is, I guess, another collectible piece. It is a um, double decker bus that says Twinnings Transport on it and it has different uh, labels of Twinnings. What is it? Uh, Irish Breakfast Tea. Okay, so it's tea brands right here along the side. And then this part opens up for a little compartment in here. Same thing on the other side, uh, like the four brands there. The wheels move. Everything in there was pretty much cool. So we'll see. This next thing right here is one of those like countdown calendars like we usually see for Christmas. I'm assuming this had to do with Christmas because it obviously ends at 25 and that's what normal Christmas stuff ends at. There's a sticker on here from a thrift store for $14.99. I checked all of these doors. There's nothing in any of the doors from 16 to 25, but starting at 15 on, there are little mini figures in there. So this one looks like a groom. I'm gonna take them all out of this pack and 
set them up on the table and show you what they are and pull out whatever else is in here so we can see take a closer look and figure out what this is but if you guys already know put it in the comment so here are the little figures that I pulled out these two right here are like a bride and a groom here's a little car a snowman another snowman and another snowman and I'll show you like a little car that goes with those in a second a little fire truck and then here we have like three angels here we have three penguins and then we have Rudolph and Tweety in a Christmas stocking and then this is what they came in so they each came in these little individual packages and then I guess each set came with a little card so like here's the three snowmen here's the fire truck the three penguin the three angels the Tweety bird and then the Rudolph so if you guys know anything about this set or how much it is or you know if it's this I'm assuming the same kind of stuff in these leave it down in the comments for me because I want to know so right here I have one of our bigger boxes and the top is just two pillows so those are just gonna go either donation or yard sale whatever we decide this is the box that had the big Aladdin Disney Aladdin giant genie um, I still can't find a date on him but here is what the back looks like and then the front looks like so and there's some orange stickers up here in the corner um, that are from Toys R Us and it was discounted two different times. I don't know the price. It definitely looks like an older model so it could be worth a lot more than that. And Disney's really collectible so we'll see about that. Here is a little dress. I don't know if this is for a doll or a bear because we found a box of bear clothes actually in this unit. It might be for this bear. I'm not sure. So this bear isn't like completely stuffed. It's one of those like hard bears where the legs move too. Uh, let me see if I can find a tag or something somewhere. I don't see anything. I don't even see a tag on the clothes. Oh wait, here we go. So the tag on the clothes says tart. What does that say? Tender Heart Treasures Limited. Again, if you guys know anything about that, let me know. Um, some kitchen towels and an oven mitt. Naked Betty Boop. Betty Boop, put your clothes on. Here are a couple, I guess, baby quilts there's another one here's another dress another quilt uh this helmet which i thought was from like horse riding or like what jockeys would wear but i'm not 100 percent sure i don't know if something like this has a lot of value let's see if i can find a size i see size large and the brand is capriole c-a-p-r-i-o-l-e capriole another quilt uh rocky i think i think the people said the moose name is bullwinkle this right here for the girl who has everything Here's Jeebus's nipple warmers. So I gotta gift those to him. <laughs> uh, this next thing is Hasbro Softies. I feel like he should say something or move in some way, but it definitely seems like he'd be able to stand up. I don't really know what he is exactly, but he's a pretty color. And the only other thing down here is a Time Almanac from... 2000 so of course that'll go with all the other books we found real quick before we get into this bag don't forget to like the video if you haven't already and subscribe if you are new let's go so right off the bat we have a purse that looks to be in pretty decent condition here let's see what brand it is um charming charlie we found this brand before and there was a price tag on it jewel handbag 39.99 so this just says uh vintage Vintage picture in old frame girl with cat has a $20 price tag on it. So that's a pretty nice picture. Next we have bless this home with love and this has a $6 price tag on it. This right here says $15. So it's like a serving tray, but kind of, well, it's made to be like a serving tray, but I'm pretty sure you probably hang this on your wall as like a decor. Cause I wouldn't, I would be scared to put something on this. It's too nice. A kitty. And then this right here has a $7 price tag on it and it's a food tray. Definitely one of the older older ones, but like with kitties on it. So we have another bag right here, which most of these bags weren't gone through because we could tell they were mostly pictures and some people don't like them. So we just kind of bypass them. We're not particularly interested in them, but this is my job on the second channel. I got to show you guys what we look over. So first off, Black Beauty by Ann Sewell book. The Wizard of Oz, Little Women, so three books. And then right here is a thrift store pick, as you can see by the tag, Land of the Furry. Nice little wreath decorative thing there. And then the last piece in here is like a checkerboard American flag, 
Um, it says something on the back. It's Ridge Hollow Folk Art. That's pretty fancy. Alrighty, finally a bigger box here. So let's see what we have. I see newspaper right off the bat and I know there's a lot of glassware found in here. So let's see what we have. Right here we have a vase with some elephants on it, some plants. The bottom says Four Maladies by Bomb Bros. There's the bottom. If you see anything, as always, that you guys recognize or know prices of, just please let us know because we don't have any knowledge on especially glassware. Uh, so here's like a little blue cup. So I'm gonna go through stuff as much in detail as I can. Here's just a flower plate. It just says Monterey, Fine China, Tuscany, Japan there. Next is this little chicken rooster. I don't know what you would normally put in there, whatever you want, I guess. That says Tagiri on the bottom, stamped on the bottom. Tagiri. I'm gonna need a lot of room for the stuff in here. So this we have a nice red acorn looking, I don't know, candy dish. I mean, literally whatever you wanna do with it. It's really nice though. Here we have a teapot and this one just has Japan written on the bottom. So this is like a decorative plate that looks like you hang on your wall because it comes with this little hanger here. This thing on the side was a butterfly, or I mean, it's still a butterfly, but as you can see, it's deconstructed a little bit, but a butterfly in a case. I know these are really collectible. I don't know if it's collectible in this condition, so I guess we'll see. Oh, cool. They're like Wizard of Oz little collectibles. So here we have the um, monkey taking Dorothy away in this little egg-shaped thing. There's the first one. And then this next egg-shaped thing has the Wicked Witch and then on the inside has a Tin Man, Lion, Dorothy, and Scarecrow in like the crystal ball looking thing. Oh, hopefully there's more of those. That's awesome. A blue plate with a horse and a bunch of other like Roman looking stuff in there. So maybe this is a full set of those. No, okay. These are little saucers. Has like different pictures on each one. Do they say anything on the bottom? Yes. Hold on a second. They say Liberty Blue, historic colonial scenes made in England. Next we have this golden looking plate. Doesn't say anything on it. And then a spoon that, does it say 925 on it? Uh, I don't see anything written on it, but I'll try to show you guys as close up as possible. That is what it looks like. And then the other thing in here is this little guy. And then the last thing in this newspaper is this little bear. Actually, there's something else in here. Actually, there's two more things in here. <laughs> These little two things. So this is like a thimble, I think, this little glass piece. And it says North Carolina on it. And then this is Humpty Dumpty on a wall. It's a little wood block. Here's a little um, red-headed wooden doll. This says Friendship Warms the Heart. It's just a little picture. Something to hang on your wall, put on your desk. These two things look like candle holders. Here's another little egg. I guess this is another version of Humpty Dumpty. The next thing in here is Humpty Dumpty as well, um, except this part is supposed to be here, which super glue can honestly fix that. It looks like it was glued already, but it just came off. Ooh, this looks fancy. I don't know why I like the white, the white, the blue, and the gold look fancy, but it's a little one of these things, one of those jewelry box looking things. And the bottom says formalities by Bomb Bros again, which is what this big face was made after. This is another Wizard of Oz one. It's Dorothy throwing the water on the Wicked Witch. That this The Wizard of Oz things are really cool. Hopefully they have a lot more of them. So this one has Dorothy in her house and it looks like it's supposed to be during the, her, the tornado. But it also had this with it. I don't know where she is supposed to go, if she's supposed to go on this one. Um, so I'll keep my eye out. I'm assuming if Dorothy's in there, they don't want her to be on another spot. So I'll look at the other ones that we find and see if one is just missing. Dorothy, here's another Humpty Dumpty type thing, but it is a bear. This is Little Red Riding Hood. This is this little thing comes with the top. I don't really want to pull it off, but it says Strawberry Bath Foam by Avon. So I guess they just took it. Maybe it's an old type of glass, vintage. So these feel like more of the Wizard of Oz eggs. Yes, it is. It is Glinda the Nice Witch and Dorothy, and they're not in Kansas anymore. And then the next one is when they get to Emerald City, and there's the Nice Witch right there, and it looks like Dorothy 
goes on this side. So this is the one where Dorothy's missing, but we could just glue her back, no problem. That's like my favorite thing so far, these little eggs with the Wizard of Oz. Easily. Um, this, we have another Humpty Dumpty thing. I'm assuming it might be some kind of night light or some sort because there's a plug on the back. I've never seen that before. And then here is another Humpty Dumpty mug. And then the other two things that are in here are these. I'm not sure what they go to. No, I can't get them to open. So if you guys know what those are, let me know. Um, there is three more newspaper balls after this one. Let's see what this has in it. I have a little like goose or swan or something like that. I don't know what you would use this for. Maybe it's just decorative. Here is the rest of what we have. So we have this little lady. I don't know who that is supposed to be. Ragney Ann maybe, I don't know. Excuse me if I'm wrong. Another little Humpty Dumpty thing. And then this little plate that um, is supposed to have these three cups on it. Ooh, he is heavy. Another Humpty Dumpty thing, which he is actually a coin bank. He's a bank, but there's nothing in it. But he definitely feels like cast iron. He's really heavy. So that's awesome. Check him out. Look at the detail on him. That's pretty cool. So in this newspaper, we have this little cup with a spoon. And it says Nippon, N-I-P-P-O-N, -P there on that sticker. It's a little blurry. Um, it says hand-painted N-I-P-P-O-N, however you pronounce that. And the last thing that we have wrapped up in the corner here is a Humpty Dumpty mug. And then another Humpty Dumpty. This is actually a coin bank too. There's nothing in him. So again, I have a really big box over here and I'm gonna pull out everything one by one to see what we got. So this thing is a lamp, as you can see by the top. And it is of a guy holding a bird here. Uh, doesn't say anything on it, but I can tell it's old just by from the just by the bottom. So this might be one of them too. I didn't even realize there was a lampshade in here. And then like a little trash bag or trash basket. And this just fake plant. This right here is a 60 by 84 tablecloth that is kind of like a lace looking design. Next, I see a jewelry box looking thing. It is completely empty, but here is what it looks like. Some flower decoration on there. Doesn't say anything, but it is very nicely made. Um, this paper mache pig mask is kind of creepy. This thing is just as riches. Oh, here are some of the uh, silver things or silver plated. This is let's see lunch sterling. So this is the uh, sterling spoon. So I'll keep that aside for sure. And then this right here says International Silver Company. Let's see what's in here. So this has the serving plate. There's a card behind here. Does the card say anything? Uh, thank you so much for the picture. All right, that's all it says, okay. So this has a, let's see if it says, this mark is your assurance of excellence and value. It represents dedication to the highest possible standards established over a century ago by America's finest silversmiths. So in here is a silver type um, plate. It says finest quality international silver company, um, but it doesn't say whether it's plated or anything like that. I'll check the box here in a second. And this says International Silver Company, and it says IS Original Rogers. So I don't know if that's plated or actual silver. So I'll have to just look up this uh, brand and see what it is exactly. So this right here says Brass Decor Ornaments. So there that is, looks exactly like it does on the box. This box right here says Pierced Salt and Peppers, set of four. Ooh, comes in a fancy box. There we go. Salt and Pepper Shakers, and at the top it says Rogers Silver Company, with a number. So that's a fancy set of salt and pepper shakers. So here's another one of the same brass ornaments. Um, in here, some kind of bowl. Doesn't say anything. So I'm not sure what you would serve in here. Maybe dip and then like breadsticks or something on the side, I don't know. Couple more things here at the bottom. Not sure what these are at all. It says made in Italy. Maybe they're just little decor things you hang on your wall. Here's a little hook for them. Um, maybe go in your kitchen. 
they look really cool. And then this is a leaf plate. <laughs> it's gold on the bottom, blue on the top. Looks really nice. A couple of things in newspaper at the bottom. Let's see what we have in here. Two of them. Here is a cross little figurine here. And then in here we have, looks like another spoon, like a soup ladle. It just says stainless steel, so not silver, unfortunately. Then everything else in here are just like these kind of tablecloths. And then there's a couple like graduation fairs in there. Go through this box now and see what we have. So it's just paperwork. This is a, a bag. <laughs> these are like the little mat things you put in your picture frames. Here is the party light thing. I remember seeing, but we didn't get a chance to open it and see what it was. So there's something in here. Since this is brand new, I don't want to like take it completely out, but I'll open what I can. So this is what this looks like. It looks like it's supposed to be some kind of picture, um, like a house or something. It has this on the back. So if you guys know what that is, well, let me know because I have no idea. Let's see if it says on the box anywhere. Um, party light, no, it's not right there. See, Santa tea light holder. Santa tea light holder from Party Light. All right, figured it out. Uh, this is a little plaque, backdoor friends are best. Here's a little bird plate, doesn't say anything. Here is a fishing um, picture frame, which I think I'm gonna keep for um, my grandpa because he was always known for like going catfishing and whatnot. So I might put little pictures of him right here and a big picture right there of him because this is absolutely perfect. Uh, this little thing looks like a kid's toy that somebody handmade because they put a bunny on this piece of wood and put some wheels and then put like a pull string. This right here, Oakland Inn Marlboro Pike. It's just a, a glass, Irish coffee glass. What's in this one? Uh, this definitely looks handmade. It's stamped with a uh, 9.5 or AD or DE or something at the bottom. So there's the bottom. There's definitely some craftsmanship that went into this. Um, the inside's actually smooth. It looked like they painted the inside. Uh, this box is brand new. Uh, it, it is a candle holder that has fruit uh, theme on it. This vase right here just has, it's green with leaves on it. Doesn't say anything on the bottom, but definitely just bought as a decorative piece. Just like all the other glassware in here, and then these things are just some table placemats. All right, welcome back to Church of <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back inside the house now. I went through a lot of boxes. Now it's time to get into a P.O. Box gift from Mrs. Debbie Rally, a true fan that always sends us messages and whatnot. So she wanted to see her gift on the video. So here you go, Debbie. You'll see all of our reactions. So I'm gonna like reach in and grab something out. All right, this thing. I'm gonna let Jeepers open that one. Ooh. What do you got? This is Vegeta and a keychain. So Vegeta, little like pendant thing. It's hard to see, but it has like those little, like the little glass figures. It's like those crystal things. Yeah, the like little the figures thing. inside the crystal, but it's a keychain. Let me see. And then this next thing is like one of those golden, like Dragon Ball money. I don't know what you call it. Like, uh, what is it, $10,000? Yeah, pan on the front. That's super neat. Cool. It's, like, it's hard to find stuff I don't own this Dragon Ball. Hold that over there. I was say she takes a lot of attention. All right, I have a few little things here. So this is Dragon Ball. Oh my gosh, this, this. is nostalgia is what this is. Dragon Ball Z Boot This is nostalgia. Sarah from Live Before Time, a little toy. I think it's from Burger King Look at if that. I'm not mistaken. That see. is one of the memories right there. The PlayStation 2 Dragon Ball games. That was my childhood right there in a keychain. Check that out. Keychain. Jeez. Hey, Woo. All right, hold that over there. All right. Next we have, I'm getting all the little toys out. The next is the faux place down All right, we have this little ball thingy. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what this is. It says capsule station. That sounds Dragon Ball to me. So where these little balls come out of, come out of like these little machines, I guess in like GameStop. So you have like a mini version of that. Hey, look what you dropped. Look. Oh, is that the other thing I had in my hand? Yeah, this came out. It's like a gold <laughs> coin. I'll give it to you in a second. It has Super Saiyan Goku, Goten, 
And then Goku, Go Ted, and Kid. Oh, all the different forms of Goku on the back. Mm. I see it. A coin? A yeah. A gold coin. A gold coin right there. Check that out. That's awesome. Oh, wow. This I'm is so cool. Debbie, let me see that. You're doing awesome so far. Let's see what else we got in here. This is cool. Like, this is like legit four Dragon Ball things straight, and I don't have them. That's really hard to find. Our house is like a Dragon Ball museum. All right. I don't since, have any of this. Now, I'm going to guess since all the other stuff is Dragon Ball, this is for you, for mm -hmm. me. Yeah, and then we also have a letter, which I'll read too. All right. So I'll let Mama Divas Ooh, open dude. hers. You, Debbie, you really pay attention. Oh my God. Okay, so oh, anybody who doesn't know, <laughs> Prince is my absolute favorite artist of all time. This is incredible. I'm while you're talking, I'll show it. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I Go ahead. I can see it. No, but he was just one of my Check favorites that out. forever since I was like 12 or 13 years old. So thank you so, so much. <laughs> Debbie, you're the best. I'm gonna rock it. You're the best. Oh. <laughs> all the way from the UK. <laughs> So oh, her letter. Oh my gosh. Can we point out the fact that it's on the Pokemon Journal it is. notebook on paper? Pokemon Journal notebook <laughs> paper. It says, hi Amber and Jeebus, this is your 11th year anniversary gift. As I don't have many friends, I have been following you on YouTube from the beginning and you are ideal role models for anyone starting out on YouTube. Biggest fan, Deb. And then she has a letter. Thank you, Debbie, by the way. Um, yeah. She has a letter to Mama Jeeva. says, just a small gift for you. I know you will love. Always say hi when these auctions and on Facebook. Love, Debbie. Thank you so much, thank Debbie. You. Don't make me cry. <laughs> so, Debbie, as always, thank you. And thank you for all the support that you give. Our P.O. box is down in the description. If you want us to show what you send, we'll show it on this channel or the main channel. It just depends on, you know, where we want to put it. But that is going to be it for this video. Have fun, laugh more, peace out.